Hi, welcome to this channel. So today in this video, I would like to teach about synthetic oils. So, so far in the lubrication chapter, we have learned about mineral oils, different types of additives. Now, let us see what synthetic oils are. So, synthetic oils are basically alternative to mineral oils. So, mineral oils are the traditional oils that has been used for lubrication. Synthetic oils came because mineral oils cannot perform certain functions of lubricating oils. For example, for high temperature application. Also, mineral oils tend to have many impurities which basically come from the petroleum products. Synthetic oils, on the other hand, are high temperature materials. They can tolerate very high temperature they are also oxidation resistant and they do not contain any impurities. So let us see what type of synthetic oils we have. Synthetic oils are used for the following reasons. So as I said, high temperature applications, for example, hot metal processing or for aircraft applications, synthetic oils are very good. Even for low temperature applications, when the mineral oils tend to freeze, or they become, um, they cannot flow. So in that situation also synthetic oils are better alternative. Low flammability oil needed. So if there is need for non-flammable oil or lubricating material, then synthetic oils are preferred because many of the synthetic oils are not flammable. Compatibility with materials such as natural rubbers. Mineral oils tend to affect the materials such as rubber or plastics, whereas Synthetic oils are, many of them are neutral to rubber and plastics. So that means they do not affect. But again, we must check this property because some of the synthetic oils might have some effect on natural rubbers. Contamination issue, if there is a, any issue of contamination, for example, in food related, related industry or in any application where we do not need any kind of contamination, then synthetic oils are preferred. And also, as I said, synthetic oils do not have any impurity like sulfates or phosphates. So this is another advantage. So these are the main advantages of synthetic oils over mineral oils. However, there is one drawback. Many of the synthetic oils are not good boundary lubricant and they have low lubricity. So this is a limitation that they are not very good in terms of boundary lubrication. They are very good for hydrodynamic lubrication or elastohydrodynamic lubrication because they provide very good consistent viscosity. But this may not be a big problem because for boundary lubrication, we can always use additives. So additives are still used in synthetic oils, just like in mineral oils. And by using additives, we can overcome this problem of boundary lubricant. Synthetic oils do not have very good lubricity. That means they do not decrease friction and wear as much as mineral oil. But again, we can use additives to compensate for this issue. So overall, synthetic oils are considered very good uh, for many industrial applications. So among synthetic oils, there are some very important ones and we will discuss those here. The first is synthetic hydrocarbons. So this, these are hydrocarbons which are of synthetic in nature. That means they are made by chemical processing rather than extracted from petroleum. So first very common example is polyalpha olefins, PAO, with proper additives. Polyalpha olefins are synthetic hydrocarbons and they have molecular structure very similar to paraffins or rather branch chain paraffins. PAO have very good oxidation resistance, so but not so good boundary lubrication. So that means they need additives. PAO tends to shrink rubber and hence when used with rubber seals, they should be mixed with some other synthetic esters which tend to swell the rubber. So this one problem is that PAO will shrink rubber so therefore if we are using in seals we should be careful there is another synthetic hydrocarbon known as polyisobutylene this 
is used as a metal working fluid and this is also a synthetic oils. Next, synthetic oils are the esters, diesters and polyol esters. So diesters are basically have carboxylic ester group in their molecule and the very common example of diester is di 2 ethyl hexyl sebacate. And polyol esters are complex esters and there are many such polyol esters. So these ester molecules are very high temperature materials and therefore they are used for aircraft applications. Also they are used for hot metal processing for example continuous casting of polyol esters are very applicable. So in general esters are very good high temperature materials. They are oxidation resistant and also they have very good lubricity. Other kinds of esters are also possible for example fatty acid esters. So these are very common synthetic oils. These are two examples of esters for example diesters and polyol esters. So these are very complex molecules but what is important is that carboxylic group they have which are common to all esters. Now other kinds of synthetic oils are for example phosphate esters triacryl phosphate TCP. So TCP already we have seen acts like a additives they are used as additives so they can also be used as a normal lubricant however TCP has poor stability with metals so although they are high temperature materials but in the presence of metals they tend to decompose and therefore they cannot be used for very high temperature in the presence of metals they also act as solvent for plastics and rubbers so again they are not very compatible with plastics and rubbers however they have very good bondy lubrication properties and therefore they should be used or they can be used for such application. We have discussed about ZDDP in terms of additives. So they are used as additives for anti-wear and antioxidant. So they can also be used as a lubricant and they are also considered as synthetic lubricants. So as we have seen that they have excellent boundary lubrication property. Now silicons or they are commonly known as polysiloxanes. These are fluids which have got silicon and oxygen bonds as well as with carbon. Silicons have this molecular structure where silicon and oxygen have bonds as well as silicon has bond with methyl group. So these are the common uh, polysiloxanes and silicons are very useful materials because they can be obtained in many viscosity ranges. So for, from very less viscous to very high viscous fluids. So they are very useful material for lubrication. They are also high temperature materials so they can be used for high temperature applications and they are also insulating to electricity. Silicon fluid or silicon lub lubricants can be used as base oil for many applications. Another example of synthetic oil is polyglycol. So one very common example is polyalkylene glycol. These are basically produced by combining ethylene oxide and or propylene oxide with alcohol or water. So these are the kind of ratios of ethylene oxide and propylene oxide ratios. So polyglycols are, are basically long chain polymeric liquids and they are stable up to 200 degree Celsius. One advantage of polyglycol is that when they de decompose they do not leave behind any residue. So therefore they are very clean in that if for hot application for high temperature application they are very clean lubricant. Polyglycol can be both water insoluble as well as water soluble. So therefore water soluble part can be used for hydraulic fluids or metal processing fluids. Other kind of synthetic oils are fluorinated ethers and fluorocarbons. So the, in these lubricants basically hydrogen has been replaced by fluorine. So one example is PFPE or perfluoropolyether family. So there are many in this family many types of liquids or lubricants we have in this family. PFPEs are used in high temperature greases for space application as well as for high temperature application. So these synthetic oils are all used 
as base oil as well as oil for greases. Another important application of PFP is in magnetic hard disks and magnetic tapes. Magnetic hard disks and magnetic tapes are used for data storage in computers and a very thin layer of PFP is used for lubrication purpose. So this application for this application only PFP can be used no other lubricants have been tried so far. So this is a very very important application of PFP for magnetic hard disks and magnetic tapes. So these are the main examples of synthetic oils and as I said before they are very good for high temperature application and therefore they are used in applications such as aircraft or for metal processing, hot metal processing as well as some of them are used in space application because for vacuum application we need certain type of greases and some of them can be used for greases which can be used for vacuum application. Here we have got some numerical data for different types of lubricants both mineral oil based as well as synthetic oil based. So here we can see that how the viscosity changes. This is viscosity at 40 degree Celsius and this one is at 100 degree Celsius. So for example automobile 20W. So this is one type of oil for automobiles. So at 40 degree Celsius the viscosity is quite high but at 100 degree the viscosity tends to be very low. So that means for these kind of application which require high temperature stability for viscosity we must use additives and this, this is a flash temperature. So flash temperature is the temperature at which the oil will ignite if there is a source of ignition. Pour point is the temperature below which the liquid will not flow. So automobile oil has got pore point of minus 24 degrees Celsius. So that means it cannot be used in application where the temperature is below minus 24. And viscosity index is also quite good 103. Viscosity index of 120 is preferred. So that means they are still the viscosity is sensitive to the temperature. And these indicates the common additives that are used in these kind of lubricants. So they have rust inhibitor, antioxidant, viscosity index modifiers and so on. Other types of lubricating oils we can see here for example aviation grade 65. So here the viscosity is quite high at 40 degrees Celsius and at 100 degree it is low but still it's better than automobile SAE 20W. So these are the important data that we need to see for any kind of lubricant. So as we go down in this list there are organic esters, phosphate and silicons. So for example for silicon oil we can see that the change in the viscosity is not much. So that means this liquid has high viscosity index. The flash point is very high and pore point is very low. So this shows that silicon fluids are excellent um, materials for applications either for cold temperature or for hot temperature and they have excellent viscosity as well. So in this video we have discussed about synthetic oils which are used for various applications as lubricating oils as well as for hydraulic applications. So in general synthetic oils have high temperature stability so that means they can they do not decompose at higher temperature and they have very good viscosity index that means they are not the viscosity is not so much sensitive to temperature. However many of the synthetic oils have lower boundary lubrication characteristics so which is a limitation but this limitation can be overcome by adding the additives as we discussed in previous video. So thank you very much for joining this video and I hope that you have learned something about synthetic oils. Thank you.